Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. What we're going to be uh, going through today is a, just a complete guide of how to get started with playing retro DOS games on a Chrome OS device, a Chromebook. Uh, I've got Chrome OS Flex uh, up and running right here, but it should work on any Chrome OS device. And what I did here just for testing purposes is I downloaded an old shareware copy of Doom from the internet, which you can find everywhere. There's DOS games all over the internet. And... Um, you probably have a bunch of legit ones backed up on your computer somehow. So we're going to go ahead from start to finish how to get DOSBox running on a Chrome OS device from scratch. We're going to show how to configure that, how to get your games into the storage of DOSBox, and how to play them. So let's get to it. First thing you want to do is open your settings. And if you haven't done this yet, go to Advanced, and there will be a Developer section. And you need to enable the Linux development environment. I've already done that on this machine, but if you haven't, this is where you find that. You enable it, and then you're good to go. Now, on some devices, it's not going to let you enable that. If you're on Chrome OS Flex, you can check the uh, BIOS of your computer when you boot it up to make sure CPU virtualization is enabled. If it is, or you don't even have that kind of option, and the Linux option still isn't there, then unfortunately, you might be out of luck. But for everybody else who can do this, you will be able to move on which we're going to do right now. Once you have Linux set up, you want to open your terminal, and we want to go to the Penguin. And I should have started it up before the video because it always takes a minute to start up before, your, uh, before the first time you do it, after you reboot your system. That's my bad. But while we're waiting for that, I will just say um, this dosgames.com has a bunch of stuff. All you got to do really is go to Google and type in DOS games or Abandonware or something like that. Um, whether or not something you find and download is legit, that is up for you to find out. That's beyond the scope of this video. So here we are in our Linux terminal. The first thing we want to do is type sudo, S-U-D-O, apt, A-P-T, install, and then DOSBox as one word. Hit enter, hit yes, Y for yes. And that'll, that shouldn't take too long. And I'll go ahead and install, and that's all we had to do. To start it, you will go to your launcher, and towards the bottom, you'll have a Linux apps folder. And you'll click on that and open up your DOS box for the first time, get it running. And the reason we do that is that also creates your configuration file, which you're going to want to edit next. So if I go to my file manager app, you will see that you have a Linux files folder. We want to go into that. And Click on the, uh, the three dots here in your file manager and go to show hidden files. And that should give us a .dosbox folder. We're going to open that. And then we have our .dosbox configuration file. So let's go ahead and open that with text. That's fine. Now, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this file, you'll see a section where you can mount your different folders as drives in your .dosbox instance. And so what we're going to want to do is mount, is we're, first we're going to want to create a folder where we can store all the DOS games that we download. Then we're going to want to mount that as a C drive every time DOSBox boots up. So I'm going to go ahead and quit DOSBox while we're doing this. You can just type exit. And inside of our, um, just our regular Linux files folder, we can turn hidden stuff off now to get it out of the way. I'm going to create a new directory called DOSBox. And what we need to do is reference that directory from our configuration file. And so here's kind of a tip. If I go to my Linux terminal, if you're familiar with DOS, you know you can type dir to get a list of everything that's in your directory. On Linux, you can do that by typing ls. And we see our DOS box folder there. But if I just put that in here, it's not going to resolve that directory. And even if I, um, I've tried it, even if I try to do a relative directory using my home key button that doesn't work so you got to have the full thing and so if i go to cd slash you can see um how the system here looks our files are in the home directory so let's just look at that and see what we have cd home then we have cd my name and then we have our dos box from there so we're going to have to use that entire path to mount our folder so what you're going to want to do on your dos box config file is type mount and space c for C drive, then start with the slash and type, let's see, what was it? Home, 
your username. It's not going to be the same as mine, obviously. Then DOSBox. And then on the line under that, we can make it go to our C drive by just typing C colon. And then I'm going to save that. And then we're going to start up DOSBox and see if that worked. Okay, we now have a C drive. It's empty right now, but any file that we put into this DOSBox folder is now going to be in our C drive on the uh, DOSBox application. So I'm going to exit out of that for now. What we're going to do is extract this uh, DOS program I downloaded. We're going to right click on the zip file and just say extract all. Then in my DOSBox folder, I'm going to make a new folder called Doom. And I'm going to copy all these files into it. And now, if we launch DOSBox again, all that stuff ought to be there. So let's type DIR to see. We've got my Doom folder, CD Doom, DIR. Oops. All our files are in there ready to go. So let's just type Doom and see if it runs without doing the uh, setup. There we go. We got Doom. I'm alive though, my arrow keeps Sorry if that's really loud. So, for some reason my D-pad isn't working, but if I use the arrow keys on the numpad, that seems to work. I don't know what the deal is there. I will look at that later. But here we have Doom working. And you can go ahead and do that with any DOS game that you want to get running here on Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex. So, I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'm going to look more into this D-pad thing and see if that's something with this DOS da this uh, Doom download I did, or if there's something wrong with DOSBox that needs to be changed. If I do find something, I'll let you guys know in another video, or just post it as a comment on here and pin that. Um, I have run DOSBox on Chrome OS before, and I did not have that problem, so I don't know what the deal is. We will take a look at that. But until next time, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.